What's up guys? Welcome to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess and today's video is going to be one of my favorite things of year. All year long I should say. Um, I'm going to test and review a keto pumpkin bread. So in this case I thought it'd be fun to use my donut pans because they're silicone and these it easily will um, calculate the serving size without anything so I'm gonna make a pumpkin bread recipe but I'm gonna use a muffin pan so um, I have not tried this recipe yet but fall is right around the corner and I wanted to get a head start <laughs> on the pumpkin spice keto um, trend so let's get started oh and then this recipe is from readyforallthings.com and I'll put the link below um, it makes eight servings and there are it's a little higher in carb but pumpkin is a little higher in carb naturally um, so it's six I computed the the macros and it's six net carbs per donut but it's bread <laughs> so um, and then I guess we'll just get started in making it so Stay tuned to the end for the drum roll review. <laughs> okay, so here is what you're going to need to make this recipe. Coconut oil, eggs, butter, pumpkin puree, pumpkin spice, sour cream, uh, sweetener, vanilla, coconut flour, almond flour, salt, and baking powder. So let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by adding all the dry ingredients first. So we have here pink salt. The exact recipe will be below, so <laughs> pink salt. And then we have baking powder. I like to do all my dry ingredients together first and then all the wet ingredients. Pumpkin spice seasoning or blend. I use the Trader Joe's brand. You know me, I love my Trader Joe's. <laughs> uh, we have a coconut flour. We have two tablespoons of monk fruit as a sweetener. If you don't have this, check out... Um, well, I have a 15% off coupon for you, Keto Rewind 15 at lakanto.com, and you'll get 15% off your order. It's my go-to sweetener, has no weird aftertaste, and in fact, this recipe is from lakanto.com, so totally need to check that out. Um, and that's why I'm giving this one a good review. <laughs> well, I should say, I'm giving this a test. I have no idea how it's gonna, how it's gonna taste. But it comes in the powdered form or the granulate, and it's erythritol in monk fruit. It's a blend, and it's perfect in my opinion. So that was a half cup of the powdered Bacanto. And that is it for our dry ingredients. So I'm going to give that a quick little stir, and then we will do the wet ingredients. And here's just a peek. Oh. If you could smell how good it smells, to smell pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a, a whole year since I, I try to only have pumpkin stuff during fall. It just makes it that much more special for me. But there's the dry ingredients and we will switch bowls and do the wet. So, um, quarter cup of coconut oil. I like to buy my coconut oil from Costco <laughs> in the big tub. And that was a quarter cup. And it's already kind of melty. And you want to make sure you have a quarter cup. Let me get a spatula here before I make a mess. But I'm going to just pop this in the microwave so it's nice and melted all the way through um, and then liquid form. So 
There's that. This is the sink. <laughs> All right, and then it is three eggs, but we're gonna melt the butter first. So one tablespoon of butter. So let's get a butter. Tablespoon of that going. Get a knife. I am so hoping this turns out delicious because I don't know about you, but I am a huge fan of pumpkin, everything pumpkin. But just because you're keto doesn't mean you have to miss out on these yummy recipes. So I'm going to run this in the microwave for a couple, like 15 seconds just to melt it through. Okay, so we are good and melty <laughs> now. So I'm gonna add the vanilla and sour cream. I like to use, when it's liquids, I like to use a scale. So this way, I know 15 grams <laughs> is a tablespoon. Perfect, 15 grams right there. So that was sour cream. And, oh, I forgot to put my almond flour in my, my dry ingredients. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed it before I ruined my recipe, right? Okay, so, melt that all up. Let me switch to a whisk here. Smells good. All right, next I'm gonna add my three eggs. We lose the scale, I don't think I need that anymore. One. Two. Three. Always wash your hands after you mess with that stuff. Okay, now we're gonna whisk that all together. Let me double check, I just have the pumpkin puree left to add. And I need a half cup. And I checked the back, and the half cup is 122 grams. So again, we're gonna get the scale out. And it's so much easier to judge your ingredients using a scale then dirtying up a dish and all that stuff. So just zero out your scale with the bowl and all that and then put 122 grams in. I don't know, I just, I hate all the excess dishes and stuff. Oh my goodness, apparently I need a new can opener here. Okay, so I have my Organic pumpkin pumpkin puree. Make sure you don't get the one that has all the sugar. It's just pumpkin. So I need 122 grams. It's 106. 116. 120. Oop. 122. <laughs> See how easy that was? And then I dirty up any extra things and I can keep that container nice and fresh. All right, so now let's double check. <laughs> I have the coconut oil, the eggs, the butter, pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie spice, sour cream, Lakanto sugar and powdered sugar, vanilla, coconut flour, almond flour, salt, and baking powder. All right, so now all we have left to do is put the dry ingredients in here. Trying not to make a mess in the process too. Oh, it smells so good. If it smell, if it tastes half as good as it smells right now, we are in for a keto treat. Come fall. <laughs> but I'm doing it by hand because I want the calories <laughs> that I'm burning. All right. So look at how decadent that already looks. 
So now let me show you what I'm going to put it in. Clear off the back here. <laughs> I'm going to get, and by the way, 15% off lecanto.com with coupon code Keto Rewind 15. But I am going to use a piping bag to get it in the donut tray. I was going to make muffins, but it, I kind of want the fun <laughs> use of the donut pans. Let me show you. I got silicone ones because I I just like how easy they are to use. If I can find them. Okay, so I've put a Ziploc bag into a deep cup, and I'm going to put this batter. That coconut flour really did make that nice and thick. But I'm going to put this all in here. It just makes it so much easier to scoop out and control. So I'm just going to pour all of this into my cup here, and I'll have like a little piping bag, if you will. Because you're supposed to get eight slices of bread or eight muffins or eight donuts. But we'll see. I'm going to see how many we actually get. Okay, so. Now all you do is take it out of there. Smash it down. And now it's like right in there. Let me bring it closer here so you can see. But our, we're going to go for eight, and then we're going to see how much how much that looks like. And we can always add more. So just cut the tip off, and then you're ready to go, everybody. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. I think I want to go ahead and go for as many as I can and let them be this size. Have a little treat. So we're going to go for nine. 10. And this actually will bring the carb count down. And this looks like you will get perfect 12. That one I might have gave a little too much to, but just put some more whatever's left. Easy as that, right? And now I'm just going to take a spoon and spread it in there. Nice. Actually, I'm gonna... nope, <laughs> it's too thick. I'm just going to spread it on the top there so you don't have the big glop. <laughs> but then I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 and I will meet you right back for a taste test. Actually, there's a topping that goes on them as well. This looks so good. I mean, this recipe will do a bread, but I feel like who can actually have an eighth of this and not eat any more? <laughs> so if, if we portion it out ahead of time, and these are actually making, because I did donuts, it's slightly smaller, they will be better um, on your macros. So I'll update the macros if you make the donuts like I am. But you can just use two loaf pans. Those little small loaf pans is what the directions say on the recipe. And there we have it. So I'm going to pop these in the oven at 350 and I'll be back when they are done. <laughs> Alrighty, here is the finished product. I will say these are delicious. Okay, so the topping, there's a topping that goes with these. 
and it has more sugar in it. And I felt that these as themselves, like you can see they're a pretty good sized donut. Um, being that I got 12, the carb count is now four per donut. <laughs> um, but you can use a loaf pan and make it the actual bread. But I will say there's a topping that goes on to it. I felt they were overly sweet, like for my taste. I bet, I mean, I'm getting kind of away from the sweet. So I felt like I wouldn't add the extra sugar in the actual um, recipe. I would just do the powdered sugar and not the extra granulate sugar. So that's what I personally am going to do. And that will maybe take the sweetness down a little bit. But if you like things sweet, leave make the recipe as is. <laughs> I'm just saying for my personal taste after I reviewed it, it was a little too sweet for me. So, um, but here the, here they are, you know, I'm, I'm going to have one of them is four net carbs and it smells decadent and yummy um, and it is a keto donut. So like I said, um, I used the keto bread recipe and I just used a donut pan. Um, so I got 12 being that they could be individually portioned better than a loaf of, or loaf bread, I should say. Um, and then if you make the loaf, put the topping on if you want, or you like it sweet, put the topping on. I'm including it in the recipe below. But if you were, if you like me that, you know, you don't need it quite so sweet, you can totally tone down the, the sweetener, um, the Lacanto sweetener. So I'll put my variation of what I would do next and the original recipe, the link for the original recipe. So there you have it. Enjoy pumpkin keto donuts or pumpkin keto bread. <laughs> and um, don't forget to use my coupon code to save 15% off at lacanto.com. It's Keto Rewind 15 for 15% 15 off. So all the links are below. So enjoy and happy pumpkin. <laughs> I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind.